right uh, good evening everyone uh, today we are going to talk about the uh, consumer and industrial marketing strategy of apico that is uh, richard peris company uh, public limited company so uh, as i said earlier i will start the presentation then followed by lumini then tisya sara that uh, then samal and trinal so uh, first of all to give you an introduction richard peris company is owned by uh, sorry uh, apico is owned by the richard peris company which was started in 1940s and now it has I grown i can see your video ravind you need to open your video sorry i will yeah go ahead thank you uh can you see me? i can't see yeah, i can i can see you great he looks great <laughs> right uh then uh, as what i was telling uh earlier uh, now it has a staff member total staff member uh, staff of 27000 employees and it is ranked now among the uh, front it, it is in the fr front rank of countries uh, conglomerates and the most important thing is it's among it's among the most popular departmental stores uh, along with odell so uh, odell and apico try uh, when you talk about their prices you definitely have an idea uh, how much of a product price is uh, can be found in the uh, very local stores and if you go to the buy the same product in odell uh, you can uh, you clearly have an idea how much for brand value the companies have so moving on uh, let's talk about the apico marketing strategy uh actually what does when we talk about what does apico do in marketing the things come to our mind when we to, uh, is the core principles of marketing that is creating communicating delivering and exchanging so uh, apico follows the same procedure as well starting from creating and communicating and uh, delivering and exchanging i will talk combined together so when you talk about the creating they uh it, they have significant range of products and services uh to give you an idea about their products expertise they mainly uh they are mainly famous for the retail industry that is food items vegetables and fruits toys stationery sports items then plantations uh you might not have heard about the saint class teas because they are mainly for exports and they uh, claim that they uh, are responsible for around 30 million kilograms of tea per year which we are not much familiar with and of course the furniture there is so far bedroom furniture and plastics uh, that is a uh, water tanks and uh, other buckets and stuff and the another important thing is you may have heard that apitag tires that falls under the rubber industry and the new initiative is the automotive uh, field that they build sensors and other pedal shafts and products related to automotive industries that is very new news so moving on to the services of apico uh, they are engaged in the construction industry followed by insurance stock broking financial fund management as well as healthcare and logistics and interiors these services we are not much uh, aware of as much as products but they are engaged in these services as well so moving on to the sec our second point that is communicating which is the second core principle of marketing let's talk about their promotions the focus areas are they mainly focus on the advertising in the uh, mass advertising for mass markets that is to say about tvs radios and not much in paper present uh, paper advertisement we can see but mainly the uh, tv advertisements when the christmas is near and now is near that you may have heard the word let's go apico super center like that and uh, of course the sales promotions that's best buy promotions uh, like uh, for loyalty customers 30% of uh, from uh, reductions are done like that and the most and sophisticated and i would say very cunning thing is that they are highly engaged in public relational projects where they do not have to uh, put on the expenditure much uh, 
by but the, uh, the they are brand is being uh, promoted word to word mouth to mouth i would say uh, so it's a free of charge promotion as well if you do a public relational projects so you you do something for the community as well as you get something so apico follows that strategy as well so these are some uh, promotions they have put out you can see the prices have been, have been mentioned and these are some of the examples i hope you are not only looking at one picture but are, there are the two pictures as well uh, so uh, delivery and exchanging when we talk about them they have they have up until now up until now means in the sense that uh, until the corona situation they have mainly focused on their departmental stores where the customers have to go and buy their products now they are mainly focusing on the apico delivery that is an online platform they claim that they will deliver the product within 2 hours as you have see their motto as unraveling freshness uh and they have gone to this uh level so the delivery and exchanging happens very uh, efficiently i would say so we have discussed about the uh, uh making of the products so communicating delivery and exchanging so i would list down some competitors for the uh, this is for the apico super center chain uh, apico when we talk about apico as i said uh, there are many more uh, areas but when you talk about the super center chains that is much uh, famous these are some competitors as you all know cargill food city kiel super love satosha and other private supermarkets uh, there are 711 is yet to come to sri lanka when it comes the competition will be much higher so when i talk about the custom relationships and values uh, the thing that caught my eye is their vision that the vision i would read as it is we will organize and operate to continually focus on uh, focus on the focus on i mean please pay attention to the next few words exceeding expectation of our customers whilst expelling in profitability and we will attract so uh, the exceeding expectation of our customers while excelling in profitability is the very exact thing that that we learned in uh, marketing that's the very basic idea of everything that is their vision and when when it comes to the mission then they again they again saying that they to continually exceed the expectation of customers the vision is to exceed the expectation whilst uh, remaining in profitability the mission is to continually exceed the expectation of the customers uh, and they are another goal they have uh, to provide a satisfactory ret return to shareholders and again i am saying that this is this is another factor where we talk about the satisfaction and meeting the expectation of customers so uh, i think the vision and mission explains all of it uh, that is from my side over to you lumini thank you um pramila so moving on to the next slide sorry i'm having trouble Um, so when talking about delivery of customer values well value has different meanings like to some value means price and to others it means the the benefit so it also means the worth of something so that is why you hear people saying value for money um, meaning they are price sensitive and then um, there are another set of people who prefer money for value meaning they are willing to pay for what they consider as benefits from a brand so customer value is the perception of what a product or services work to a customer versus the possible alternatives so in order for a company to deliver customer value they must identify the dimensions that matter most to the customers so apico has done this by um, done this by the methods listed here so something that apico promotes like all the time is um, one stop for all your household needs so this is like their slogan um here they are targeting to uh, put everything under one roof so that the customers don't have to go here and there to buy their products so and then they also provide parking facilities to customers freely 
and then they also have play zones for children then um, canteen facilities with wi-fi fa facilities they also have atm card centers at the entrance of Apico super centers and then they also do delivery of furniture and um, they also have the privileged loyalty card uh, for card holders where they are rewarded with um, with promotions and also um, the chance of winning different uh, gifts and um, they also have online shopping which is like really important in this COVID-19 uh, situation. Um, moving on to customer expected value and perceived value. Well, customer expected value is the value that a customer expects from a product and then the perceived value as you all can understand from the word itself is the worth or the worth of a product or service according to the customer's own perception and this is usually after buying the product so in order to get an idea about the customer expected values and the perceived values related to Apico, i went through the facebook reviews that were posted by customers so here in review one you can see that the customer has complained saying um, they did not respond and they not only they didn't respond they didn't even deliver the furniture properly um, properly so here the customer expected value and the perceived values um, are like different so uh, moving on to review two um before that yeah here the customer has complained saying the uh, staff is extremely un unhelpful and they were chatting among themselves so here the customer has expected the staff to be friendly and um, supportive but um, that has not been uh, perceived so moving on to the next slide I have listed some positive feedback here. So here, uh, here are some of the customer expectations. As you can see, uh, quality products, uh, parking facilities, reasonable prices, so excellent service, and um, fresh products, things like that. So moving on to the next slide. Um, again, I have uh, listed some of the negative feedback here. So one customer has mentioned that uh, the toy was very dangerous. And then um, again, another customer has said that the customer support, customer care um, was providing false information. And also the next slide. Uh, so here are again some of the negative feedback. So when analyzing um, these reviews, you can see that when the perceived value is better than the expected values, customers are, they tend to get satisfied, they're satisfied. And this leads to positive feedback. And when the, um, when it's worse, the customers are unsatisfied and then this leads to uh, bad reviews also. So moving on to the next slide, we'll see how Apico measure the rate of customer satisfaction. So they measure the rate of satisfaction through something called the customer satisfaction index. So here they take um, 10 mystery customers, customers and calculate the customer satisfaction index. So here the customers are advised uh, to rate certain dimensions on a scale of zero to five, and then, then and then based on that, um, they come to a conclusion if like the customers are, are satisfied or not. So if the score is expect um, less than the expected amount, so well based on the score for each month, it's compared with an ideal score of ideal score of 180 points. So based on that score received, if the if it's lower than the acceptable amount, that is 145 points, the staff incentives are not paid. And then moving on to the next slide, you can see that uh, the criteria they consider here and how the points are given. Yeah. And then um, moving on to what the options they use to track customer satisfaction is. Um, uh, they track customer satisfaction through Facebook reviews. Here you can see that they have even replied to one of the bad reviews and also through online surveys. Um, so Sama will continue with the presentation. Uh, thank you, Lumini. Uh, and the starting point to understand by behavior is the stimulus response model, uh, marketing, and environmental stimuli uh, enter the bias consciousness, the bias characteristics and decision process lead to certain purchase uh, decisions. 
the marketer's task is to understand what happens in the bias consciousness between the uh, arrival of outside stimuli and the uh, bias purchase decision. Uh, next slide. Uh, our tank has an uh, example. Next. Uh, uh, the marketing uh, the marketing mix uh, rep represents a set of stimuli that are planned and uh, created uh, by the company. For an example, uh, product is one one factor of marketing mix. Uh, Apico have built their uh, hybrid water tank with a wide opening and strong base, uh, which uses the cleaning process uh, while it strengthens shoulder lugs, enables uh, easy lifting and anchoring of the tank. Similarly, uh, others. Uh, uh, are supplied by the economic, political, cultural, and uh, technological circumstances of a society. Uh, when we look at the technology in hybrid water tank, uh, they have used multi-layer technology, and the hybrid offers a threefold commitment to quality water storage. Uh, each layer serves a function being, uh, beginning with the innermost uh, white layer, which determines the freshness and purity of the water, providing a clear visual uh, backdrop. So uh, they have used the latest technology to impress customers. Uh, Together, these factors represent uh, represents external uh, external circumstances that help shape consumer choices. Uh, the internal factors affecting the consumer decisions are described as black box. Uh, this uh, box contains a, a variety of factors that exist inside the person's mind. Um, this includes uh, characteristics of the uh, consumer, such as beliefs, uh, values, motivations. Uh, and lifestyle and so forth. Uh, the decision making process is also part of the black box. As consumer uh, come to recognize uh, they have a problem they need to solve and consider how a purchasing decision may solve the problem. Uh, next slide. Um, and now let's look at buyer uh, decision process. Um, the first step of uh, the... I'm sorry, Samal, I had some technical difficulties. This is a slide you are referring to. I'm... Uh... Yeah. Yes. Okay. Please continue. Thank you. Uh, now, let's look at uh, buyer decision process. The first uh, step of the consumer decision making process is uh, recognizing the need for a service or product. For an example, uh, think uh, there is frequent interruptions in water supply of your area. So you need to store water. Uh, then you think about buying a new water tank. Uh, once, once consumers uh, recognize a want, they need to gather information to understand uh, how they can fulfill that want, uh, which leads to step two. Uh, when researching their options, consumer again rely on internal and external factors as, uh, as well as past interactions with the uh, product or the brand, uh, both positive and negative. Uh, in um, information stage, they may browse through options at physical locations or consult online resources such as uh, Google uh, or customer reviews. Uh, next is next step is uh, alternate alternatives evaluation. At this point in the consumer decision making process, uh, prospective buyers have uh, developed criteria for um, what they want in product. Uh, now they wait their uh, Prospective choices against comparable alternatives. For an example, um, for an example, a customer will compare the hybrid tank with uh, Eslon PE plus uh, Anton water tank, or uh, rather, he will be comparing whether it is profitable to build a uh, cement water tank. Once they have gathered all the facts, uh, including feedback from previous customers, consumers should. Uh, Consumers should arrive at a logical conclusion on the product or service to purchase. Mm. Post purchase in uh, post purchase involves uh, reflection from both the uh, consumer and the seller. As a seller, uh, you should try to gauge uh, did the purchase meet the need of the consumer? Uh, is the customer happy with the purchase? Uh, and uh, how can he continue to engage with this customer? Uh, next slide. Uh, uh, when we uh, define an, uh, when we define a new pro when we define a new product, it, um, it may not be a necessarily newly introduced to market, but it can also pursue 
uh, by potential customers as new in such situations uh, we uh, we look into the adaptation process in the adaptation process there are five stages um uh, awareness means consumer becomes aware of the new product but lack information interest mean uh, consumer seeks information about the new product in evaluation consumer consider uh, whether try the new product makes sense trial means consumer tries the new product on a small scale to improve his so uh, his estimate uh, of its value in adaptation stage uh, he decides to make a full and a regular use of the new product uh, consumers can be uh, classified into five adapter groups uh, innovators that uh, they are venturesome and uh, early adapters means uh, they are guided by uh, respect and often our opinion uh, leaders in their communities and uh, early majority uh, they are deliberate and uh, late majority uh, they are uh, skeptical and those who are traditionally uh, bounded uh, they will known as uh, laggards uh, next slide sorry uh, previous previous slide uh to a to a consumer there are uh, five uh, especially uh, five especially important product characteristics that affect the rate of adoption uh, relative advantage means uh, whether the innovation appears superior to existing products uh, and uh, compatibility means if the innovation uh, fits the value and experience uh, potential consumers Uh, if the innovation is difficult to understand or use uh, or use uh, it is not good um, that uh, that's what uh, defined by the complexity uh, and the divisibility is the uh, degree to which the innovation may be tried on a limited basis and uh, finally um, the results of the uh, results of using the innovation should be observed and described to others uh, i'd like to invite prinal to continue with the presentation thank you sama i hope you all can hear me uh, someone can you confirm that i am audible yes okay thank you all right now let's talk about the uh, stages in the business buying process um ravid you are showing the wrong slide son is Pre this one correct previous one. no no previous one this one oh, oh yeah all right thank Bye. you Uh, now let's talk about the stages in the business buying process so as mentioned in the slide uh, the buying process begins when someone in the company recognizes a problem or a need that can be met by acquiring a good or a service uh, so here i'm going to take service as an example to explain these stages uh, it's actually more like a service than a product uh, now when we consider the first stage which is the problem recognition Uh, online buying platform available in apica official website is not popular as much as other available online platforms like dara scapu etc so users tends to interact more with applications like dara and kapruka to buy their interest or required goods so there's a website called similar web uh, where we can analyze the traffic to a particular website uh, where we can find out the total visits by customers to that particular website So according to the screenshot mentioned in the slide uh, the traffic information is not even shown for the Apico Supercenter website uh, whereas for other sites like Daras those uh, traffic information can be visible in which I'll be showing you in the coming slide so Apico needed a platform uh, to reach the online community effectively so that they can advertise their products through an online platform that uh, contains a huge customer base Uh, next slide please uh, now when talking about general need description stage uh, actually this contains the information about uh, what kind of products and services are to be displayed in the online platform and the discount ranges uh, because there are certain instances where the online platform provide also detailed discounts to the products which are being sold out through their platform so apico has to be mindful on those things as well and most importantly they need to uh, consider about a platform where it contains a lot of uh, customer base actually online customers 
So those kind of information uh, can be outlined at this stage. Uh, when talking about uh, product specification stage, actually it's something like service, service specification with respect to the selected example. So under this uh, service value analysis, uh, they are considering about uh, the cost analysis where they strictly focus on the commission uh, that they have to provide for the online platform provide and for companies like Daras, uh, it will be approximately around 15 to uh, 20 percent. And most importantly, there has to be some synchronization in sales and discount information. Uh, that means uh, that you know at cert in certain times, if we take Daras as an example, they will be providing discounts for their users when they purchase some products through their platform. But in this case, there are certain agreements to be imposed where Daras can't provide uh, discounts before acknowledging Apico. So if Daras is going to provide any discounts to the products that are being sold out through their platform, uh, they need to inform Apico in advance. So those kind of information has to be sorted out clearly in this stage. Now, when we talk about supply search, um, it's quite clear that we need to uh, previous slide right now. Uh, now, when we talk about the supply search, uh, it's quite clear that we need to evaluate available alternatives for the shopping cart platforms, and there are some uh, popular platforms available. And uh, three of the main platforms, as mentioned in the slides, are Daras, Kaprook, and Wasi.lk. So here I have compared the traffic overview between two of the best platforms available, Daras and Kapruka. Uh, so as you can see, total visits per month in Daras is 3.3 million users, whereas in Kapruka it's like uh, 280.445k users. So obviously Daras is in front in terms of the customer base. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, now, when we talk about uh, proposal solicitation stage, here the suppliers will provide their marketing documents. So basically in this uh, proposal, they will present about payment terms like commissions, credit period and information about the brands and type of goods and things like that. Uh, when we talk about the supply selection stage, uh, as I mentioned in the first stage, uh, you know, their main focus is to reach their online uh, community through an effective and popular platform. So as you can see in this screenshot, now Apico has an uh, online flagship store at Daras. So Daras is chosen because it has a good customer base. Uh, and as mentioned in the slide, there are 3.3 million users across the website, whereas 1.5 million users are using the mobile app. So this is the right place for Apico to advertise their products. And that's why they had to go with Daras. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, so when talking about uh, uh, order routing specification uh, stage, uh, what happened here is they negotiate their final order. So actually at this stage, uh, category managers from the both companies concludes their agree uh, agreed commission rates, credit period, sales and discount information and things like that. Uh, now when talking about uh, credit period, actually what happens here is uh, that Although Apico has an account uh, inside the Daras platform, Daras are the ones who are going to sell the product. So that selling part can simply happen in two ways. Either the, either the delivery guy from uh, Daras can reach Apico and get the requested product or they will send the products to Daras Hub. So Daras will keep the money of the selling products and they will pay back to Apico after a month. So there's a one month credit period and those kind of things are finalized at this stage. Uh, when talking about uh, performance review stage, Daras has provided Apico with a dashboard within the online platform where they can monitor their revenue orders, pay views and average order values and things as such. Uh, and that's really convenient for respective personnel from Apico to evaluate the performance. Uh, so with that, we concludes our presentation and as a plot, we believe we have talked about almost all the uh, given marketing elements by taking Apico as an example. And we would now be interested to hear your views on what we have presented. Thank you. Great, Renal. Thank you.